Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, May the 5th, 2013. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. What's happening, free agent? What up, though? All right, all good, right, Detroit. all right. Everything's all right. 88.1 FM Detroit Sports Jersey every Sunday live, 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to have an author calling in later on. He wrote a book about Bart. Giamani, the um, late commissioner of um, baseball, he's going to talk about how he wrote a book about him and um, the effect that uh, you know maybe it has on baseball today. I might be a little interested in for you, free agent, before okay, your okay. before your time. You know, you're still wet behind the ears, you know. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to talk about that. We got the NBA. I'm going to let the free agent gloat about his bulls. He gonna let me know if D Rose gonna come back. They talking he's about him no, coming, he's back. Not coming back. You know, so we're gonna jump off into that. We're gonna find out why the wings are struggling. Tigers, they're not, they're not struggling. tigers out there knocking them out the park. They yeah. doing their thing at yeah. eighteen and eleven, I believe. They record is. It don't matter. It's still you early. Know, I mean, but they still doing. No, they still doing their thing. They, 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 they gotta do their thing. You're right. They gotta earn them big paychecks. They, so they, you know, they putting up the numbers and holding well, the pitches. It pitching. means nothing to me now. And you know, I wanna see a, you know, you better be wanting to see a World that's Series what I wanna trophy. See. That's what you. That's what nothing. I see. Anything beyond that, you know. But anyway, we're gonna get off into that. Might jump on the Lions again like I always do. <laughs> yeah, like you always I might do. mug them again today. Yeah, what you got? Mm. But anyway, let's take a commercial break. We'll be back and uh, we'll get off into all these hot topics. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worried about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 28 5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800 285 5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. It's new, it's fresh, it's backed by integrity, and it's ready for you. What is it? It's a new line of apparel called In His Image, abbreviated NHI. Inspired by gratefulness, the NHI company brand has a simple mission. Create great apparel, give back to the community, and honor Christ. If you can appreciate being in the world, but not of the world, check out the fresh designs and growing product line today at NHIbrand.com. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by the book, Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti. It is available in print and e-editions and is illustrated. The last great legit commish of baseball and the controversial figure who banned Pete Rose for life. A wonderful read, says Larry King, exquisite and elegant, says Yankee Magazine. For more information, Amazon.com. Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti by authors Anthony Valerio and Robert Brower. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio, live call-in number 313-868-3688. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, co-host, the water cooler guru, and the free agent. All right, all right. Thank you once again. I'm Detroit Sports Jersey here live Sunday. Oh, Cinco de Mayo day. Got my man up here, head of free agent. Oh, yeah. What's going on, free agent? You see agent? that fight last night? Nope. I'm glad I didn't order it. They blew it with me. I don't Floyd. care. The biggest fight that could ever went down was Floyd and Pacquiao. That's it. Anything other than that, 
Floyd I don't want to see night, it. And since I don't care, Floyd wins uh, every night. <laughs> the only Blue? fight I wanted to see, and now I don't even want to see it because uh, Pacquiao done been knocked out. <laughs> Titles took. He has nothing. He's a bum. He's a has been. He's a wash up. What it, what? I'm through with the fight game. I told you before, I'm going back over and check out The Rock. Oh. <laughs> I cannot watch boxing, man, the same like I used to. I tell you what, man. Well, you don't remember. You, you know, you're a young buck free agent. No. But back in the day, man, you could name the champions of titles. Hearn, Sugar, Way, Sugar Ray, Marvin, Ali, Holmes. Um, Who was the heavyweight champ today? I don't know. That case closed. I ain't even gonna go no farther with that stuff. I don't even exactly. need to know. I know Floyd exactly. the best thing All I can do is tell you that he's from Russia. I don't <laughs> even know his name. Floyd? You know. Floyd killing the I don't know. I'm right talking about heavyweight. I don't watch heavyweight. I, outside of Floyd, that's nothing. I don't, I don't watch heavyweight. Outside of Floyd, <laughs> who is that? Tell me. I swear, outside of Floyd, who is that? No, not really. Exactly. Alvarez. That's, now, you take I the mean, names of today the to the names of the past. There's no comparison. The Guerrero guy was straight. You know, the Guerrero guy. Okay. Was it a Geico guy? <laughs> is he straight, too? What, what, what are you talking here? Geico? I mean, what are you talking about? Was he fighting Geico? What are you? <laughs> like I said, outside of hey. here, man, there's nothing. The game is dead. UFC has took over. UFC? You watch UFC? Yeah, but um, now I don't know, the, but I enjoy it better than boxing. Me and uh, my fiance, we check it out every now and then. We check out a couple of matches, not many, but she don't. She hates it. She don't understand why they get away. <laughs> uh, well, I don't watch you it. know, but um, I love it. Okay, okay. You know, I love it. You know, that's a man's man sport right there, for real. But uh, okay, I'm okay. not into it heavily, but I watch that more than boxing. But boxing, man, it's dead. I'm sorry, it's dead. We done talked about this before. I bet you when the numbers come out, they didn't get the numbers they thought they was going to get in the pay-per-views. I guarantee you that. And I guarantee you if him and Manny would have fought, they would. They ain't going to the, get them same you're gonna they still, would You're going to go get that fight. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, right. I'm not. I'm telling you. Yeah, now, right. if somebody else wants to order it, would I sit down and watch it? Of course. But would yeah, I spend right. my own money? No. Yeah, you would. No, I'm not. Why not? I'm not. <laughs> My money stand in my pocket because Mandy got knocked out. So why would I want to pay a hundred dollars to see somebody that got knocked out by a bum? And he's supposed to be so bad where he can knock out Floyd. That that that, that math don't even add up. Well, three one three eight six eight three six eight eight. The voice over there. You know I've pointed to it many times before. But um obviously busy. You're <laughs> listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Now back to Hostwell and the free agents. Thank you. I'm cute. See, always. Ain't no professionals, is it? Really. Not even off the screen. <laughs> oh, man. Give somebody a sentence to read. <laughs> they nod off on you. <laughs> NBA going on. There's only two things. And like I told you before, I've been busy all this week. You know, out there trying to promote the radio show and right, you know right, get us, right. you know, get us up there blowed up. You know, whatever. But I haven't really watched no games. But um, there is two things out of this playoffs I want to say. What? One, I'm gonna say this to. Uh, I'm gonna get this off my chest. This is really like the number one. It's like a one A and a one B. Uh, a one A and how you gonna have, how you gonna have two? <laughs> <laughs> Cause here go the first one. Nah, nah, nah. Why you couldn't nah. just say you had two? Hey, hey, goodbye, James Harden. Oh, we didn't need you, on. suck. I told you. Oh. And we get, don't have Westbrook. But actually, you know what? That goes to show you, man. Westbrook is very, very, very valuable to that team. Well, I knew that. You know what I'm I saying? I was telling y'all. A lot of people talk about they will trade him. He's a ball. No, he's valuable. Yeah, we see. You know, Hardy. See you next year. Y'all about to go right back to where he about to come and right back there and, and let me sit say down this too. about they an organization that I love dearly. And this guy went out like the true coward that he is. Mr. Dwight <laughs> Howard. You went see? out like a bum. You see how he did your team? Of course you could beat me one on one. That's obvious. Yeah, we know. But um Even I'm just your, saying to your you head for your peers. 
Even in your heyday, you, he can beat you? He, yes. <laughs> but, you're going to be just a bum. You're not going to win no title. Not unless you go to Miami. You go to Oklahoma, ride somebody else's coattail. You're not as good as the great ones, the so-called great ones, according to him, that didn't win it, like the Ewings, the Barkley. You're nowhere on their level. Nowhere on their level. You went out like a bum. Your team needed to. You can't keep your mouth shut because you knew it was over. You knew you were playing like a bomb. You set yourself up for failure. I'm saying it. Because I love the Lakers organization. You went out like a coward. And that goes to show me everything Kobe said about you at the beginning of the season and during the season kind of rang truth with me. There's no way you should have went out like that. You got swept. Well, and you, you see, didn't you show see, up. You see Kobe want him to come back. Let's take this call. Let's see what's going on out here in the world. Detroit Sports Jersey, name and where you calling from? How you doing, Nate? I have a static line. It's Anthony Stereo. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. Anthony Stereo, Detroit Sports Jersey. Hold on, hold on one second. You still there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, could you hang up and call right back so we clear this line? I'm sorry? Could you hang up and call right back so this line can clear the static? Okay, you want me to call back? Yeah, call right back. All right, all, all right. right. Yeah, we're having a little technical problems. I think that was the author calling in. What we got to do, Henry? No, that's his, that was his Oh, that was his line? line? Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, he's the author. I've been waiting to call in. Writing about the book about Bart Giamatti, the baseball commissioner of the 80s. The 80s? The 80s. He's the one that set your boy down, Pete Rose. Detroit Sports Jersey, your name and where you calling from? Yeah, the one static to go, Hold on. Yeah, it's not this end of the phone. Are you on a landline or a cell phone? I'm on a landline. I mean, we can hear you loud. I'm trying to move my phone. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Is it any better? I, I, I can, I, it's static, but can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I can hear you too pretty well. If you talk a little loud, we'll talk through the static. Oh, yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, okay. All right. All right, now. Okay. This is the author I was telling everybody that was calling in. Introduce yourself about the book you wrote about Bart Giamatti, the baseball commission of the 80s. Right. You know, hey, bro, you know what? It's not easy for me to understand. I don't know why. I, you hear me loud and clear. I think it's clear enough now. Try to talk a little louder if you can. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I was telling them you was the author that wrote, it, wrote the book about Bart Giamatti. Right. Oh, you want me to talk about that? Yeah, how do you think writing this book about the bio... Uh, in the early 90s, you know, he's the commissioner. Right. And um, I want you to elaborate elaborate more details about the commissioner. Okay. Are, we, are we on the air now? Yes, we are, sir. All right. Saying hello to everybody out there. Uh, in the early 90s, Marjumati uh, is a man who uh, went from being president of Yale University at the age of 39, which was the youngest president of Yale. And also was on his father's side as Italian American. And uh, those of us, you know, growing up, you know, ethnic people, Ivy League schools were really beyond our reach. And there was a man who was president. So there was that factor. Then he gives it all up. At the same time, being an A1 scholar in every uh, epic poetry, and accepts a job as president of the National League. Now, here is a, you know, a renowned scholar going to baseball, so I was very interested in trying to understand him, trying to understand how, you know, a person of my culture could do that. And on the day he died, I went to the nearby university and I started reading his book. And he wrote essentially about paradise and gardens. And then I said to myself, well, a baseball field is like a garden, so I was trying to reconcile those two diverse passions and loves of his, and I thought I finally understood. So I went home, I fell asleep, and I woke up with an image of Ted Williams, 
we try an image of Dante, the great, you know, giant doll. And then I hired two assistants, gathered photographs, and wrote the book. It took me a year. So it really was, it really is an appreciation of art, okay? Try not to, to reconcile baseball and poetry. Okay, let me ask you a question. Now, Bart right. Band, Pete Rose. What do you okay. okay? What do you think he would have done about the steroid use for, uh, in today's era of okay, baseball? Okay, that's a great question. Thanks a lot for that. And, uh, on the uh, on the tour I went to that tour, I was on ESPN in LA at that time. You know, we had to go to the studio, and I was on the Roy Firestone, a great interviewer on ESPN. And he asked me about Pete Rose, you know, because Bart banned Pete Rose in baseball because of gambling, you know, that whole thing. And I said, you know, I felt personally that Pete Rose, you know, was an idol of Bart. And you love baseball, how to appreciate Pete Rose the way he played baseball. And I said, I thought he should be let in. And I also said, I thought the fans should have to say, I, being a writer, I suspect writers sometimes, you know, <laughs> I don't trust them 100%. You know, exactly. Know. Anyway, anyhow, so that was that. Bart, I think Bart, what Bart would have, Bart said that Pete Rose, he, Bart would talk in terms of staining the game. He was a, you know, he, he believed in the purity of baseball. And that anyone, for example, in the steroid era who cheated for personal gain, stained the game. I have a feeling, I want to tell you, I think he would have, I think he would have banned people who were, you know, found these steroid users for more than what there is today. I'm not saying for life, but more than there was today. I mean, he, 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 I think he banned, he, I think he banned, I have a note here, he, he, he banned for, for, for uh, Shoving an umpire, I think he, he banned Pete Rose for 30 games while he was commissioner. So I think, you know, he was more believed in the purity of the game. He spoke in behalf of fans, believed that the game was essentially designed, you know, essential for fans. And anything that took away from the fans' pleasure and belief in the game, he stood up for. Do you think in today's baseball that uh, he would have stripped Barry Bonds and banned Barry? I'm sorry? I said in today's baseball, do you think he would have uh, banned Barry Bonds? Barry Bonds, here's, here's, what, here's, what, here's what I think. You know, going on football, Bart, you know, when he his passion for baseball uh, was intertwined with his studies of Dante, you know, the same thing he was called. And Dante's Inferno is a hell, you know. Draws a very low down the eighth rank of nine. And again, you know, Pete Rose, I guess shifting back to how Bart felt about Pete Rose, and by the way, Bart Dumont died of a heart attack very shortly after he wrote the statement on Danny Pete Rose. I think it was a couple months later. And what? I often ask, do you think it killed him? And I said, you know, how do you know it killed him, man? You know? You know, we don't know, but yeah, I'm sure it's very good. Pete Rose was an idol. I think uh, Barry Bonds would have also been an idol of his, a great national player. I think, you know, I think what Bart would have done was to make a thorough investigation, wait till all the facts were You know, he banned Pete Rose. You know, Pete Rose backed out himself. So we don't have all the evidence that your body is, you know, the baseball hat on Pete Rose. And I can do some things to Barry Bonds. I mean, he believed in the universality, the ethnic plurality of baseball. He, 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 you know what I mean? And he wanted it more than anything to grow. He would have been very happy about the World Baseball Classic. And see, all the fans on the field of different languages who are loving this game and having a game of so my answer is, I think he would have waited for the evidence to come in and would have done an investigation of himself. And if he saw cheating, I, I'm sorry to say, I think he would have come down with a penalty. I think he would have been true to himself. If he had done it for Pete Rose, he would have done it for Barry Bonds.
What did Bart believe was important about number 42, Jackie Robinson breaking I baseball? Be, thanks for asking me about that. Could you read us a couple of sentences from your book? Yeah, I'm going to read about what he said about Jackie Robinson, okay? Okay. Late, late as it was, the arrival in the majors of Jack Roosevelt Robinson was an extraordinary moment in American history. For the first time, a black American was on America's most privileged version of a level field. He was there as an equal because of his skill, as those whites him had been, and those blacks and whites who succeeded him would be. Merit will win. It was promised by baseball. Okay, okay. So, uh, once again, this is the author that wrote a um, bio by Mark Giamatti, Giamatti, the seventh commissioner of Major Baseball, Major League Baseball. And uh, we're also letting people know where they can pick up this book at. For more information, Amazon.com for Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti by authors Anthony Valerio and Robert Brower. And Anthony, you know what I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to have you to call back next week because do we have some bad poor phone service here? Okay. And I'm not. A, you want me to call? You want me to call you next week, same time? Exactly. Cause I'm not really happy about this interview way this phone went, this situation, and I want to give you the opportunity to come in more clear, so people can get a more understanding of your book. Okay. You want me to call ten ten next Sunday? So you're not. You're gonna scrap this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call in ten ten next Sunday. Okay. I'll call you ten ten next Sunday. And then we'll, and hopefully we have a better phone reception. Okay. Uh, you have, sorry about that. Yeah, you have a good one. Hey, see if you can call in like on a cell phone too. What's that? See, do you have a cell phone? Yeah, I have a cell phone, but you know, it's not. I don't. It's, I really don't use. You know, I really don't. You know, I don't really use it much. It's not a good cell phone. So I just for my kids and stuff. So. Oh, okay then. Well, hopefully right. we can, well, like I said, hopefully next week we'll have a better reception. I appreciate right. you calling so in. You're gonna get a new phone. So, I mean, I don't think it's my phone. My phone's been working okay. Uh, yeah, because we done checked our lines on this end, and we're not having no problems on this end. So I don't know what's going on. We're going to have well, to... Well, right now, I can hear you pretty well. If, if you heard me pretty well, I thought the interview went okay. I mean, I thought, I thought, you know, I thought it was okay, no? You didn't think so? Well, it was, well, well I, think, I think the interview went very well, too, but I just wanted to come in a more, more clear. I like, you know, the interviews to become loud and clear for the people out there. Right. All right, now you judge. Whatever you want to use is okay with me. Thanks a lot, okay? All right, you take it easy All right. now. All right, All right. Yeah. bye. All right, that was a strong. Ooh, I'm over here sweating. And, and you looking at me like you look. <laughs> Let's take a commercial break. That's all I got to say. We'll be back. <laughs> With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 800- 285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. It's new, it's fresh, it's backed by integrity, and it's ready for you. What is it? It's a new line of apparel called In His Image, abbreviated NHI. Inspired by gratefulness, the NHI company brand has a simple mission. Create great apparel, give back to the community, and honor Christ. If you can appreciate being in the world, but not of the world, check out the fresh designs and growing product line today at NHIBrand.com. 
Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by the book Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti. It is available in print and e-editions and is illustrated. The last great legit commish of baseball and the controversial figure who banned Pete Rose for life. A wonderful read, says Larry King. Exquisite and elegant, says Yankee Magazine. For more information, Amazon.com. Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti by authors Anthony Valerio and Robert Brower. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 881-WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. The email address is info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. All right, once again, welcome back. And um, like I said, I'd like to apologize for all that static that went on. And um, we'll have the young, young man to call back in next week talk about his book so we can, you know, get a more clear understanding of all that static, because that was driving me crazy. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I ain't even going to lie. I was, and I'd like to apologize to him, the people out there in Radio Land. Call in, 313-868-3688. I'm your host, Will. Got the free agent sitting up here. Um, what? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it just gets worse. <laughs> So ain't nobody gonna hear them keys rattling and falling. Or <laughs> he ducking and hide. Ain't nobody gonna see that. Or gonna see All right, man. Let's get back to the NBA. We got some so, big games today, don't we? Yeah, I guess. You, you, oh, you, you guess. let you take it to the top of the hour. I'm, I'm, I'm bowing out. <laughs> Oh man, okay, yeah, we got some big games today. Man, Miami got a long rest, don't they? Yeah, they do. Boy, they got So do one. San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. So what you think, Memphis, San Antonio? That should be a good series. Okay. That I really mean, Memphis, should. Memphis, uh, OKC. I mean, OKC, okay, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's right, it's um, Golden State. You know? Yeah, San Antonio. That's, that should be pretty good. Steph I mean, Curry Golden put State my man away. Win. They won't win, but... Steph Curry put Denver away? Jeez, he a superstar now? Yeah, he, he, he got, don't he, want a playoff series. He, he he can play, huh? That see, guy can play. See the he real can deal. Play. Yeah. The real deal. He set the pack. Hey, you seen him shoot? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm talking about in this series. Have you seen him shoot? I guess I watched like one game. Like I said, man, I've been busy. I, I got to get back up on these playoffs games for real. Starting, but okay, I got to do something today. After the day, I think I'll be free. You know, Miami and uh, uh, Chicago start tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, Miami, tomorrow. Chicago. Yeah. So I'll be able to watch that one. I think it's starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, so I'll mm -hmm. be able to check that one out. That should be a good series, too. I think mm -hmm. D-Rose going to come back, man? No, he's not. Uh -huh. He ain't coming back. You know, like he, nah, back. He, he ain't coming back. I, you know, a lot of people getting, you know, people knocking him for it, but I say if he ain't ready, he ain't ready. If he ain't, he ain't. You know, you got to be mentally and physically for this game. It's just not a physical game. Right. You got to be mentally prepared. And if he's not ready, he's not, you know, a lot of people. And I'm on, you know, quote to Kenny Smith yesterday. He said, what benefit would he have of sitting out? You know, people, you know, saying he's ready. You know, he's doing full contact and right. this and that. And, and like Kenny said, but what's the reason? Where would he benefit from this? There's no benefit for him sitting out. You know, so you got to believe he's not ready. Right. You know, because he gets, he get, he done got the big contract. There's nothing to play for. Right, no money. He right. got the money. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like he holding, not trying to hold him hostage for money. Mm, he can't. It's he not. He ain't got that. He ain't going nowhere. So if he's not ready, he's not ready. That's all I got to say, you know. So, but that should be a good series, you know. And he want to be there. So Indy, like New York today. Who you got with that one? Man, not Indy, New York. I but think Indiana going to win that series. I do, too. I do For too. some reason, I, I just I'm, I'm not seeing it in New York. They yeah. let Boston get back into it. Uh, yeah, that was that was. What you think about them showing up in that all black when they going to the funeral? <laughs> uh, what what was hey. that all about? What's hey. that, that all about? They tried to close the deal. They uh, thought they was doing it. They like you say we got a uh, what's this uh, Memphis and OKC at one. Oh yeah, your boys they threw. 
this this, <coughs> this is gonna be tough for them. Memphis, man, they got they some play good some players, good man. They got some good, they got some good, a good they team, play some man, good for defense. real. You know, and like I told everybody, man, for real, if Zach Randolph, because he didn't impress me when he played the one year, he was one and out done at Michigan State. I think. Right, right, okay. He didn't impress me coming into the league. Okay. But he has improved his game. And if he would have took base, to be, he didn't take basketball seriously enough for me. Because, <coughs> excuse me, to be honest with you, he could have been in that shack, man, for real. Uh, I don't know about all that. If he'd have taken it seriously. Oh, and he put, he no. gave you the numbers. Oh, yeah, he, he gave, gave you the numbers. numbers. He gave you the numbers. But yeah. he's not dominating. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, he, he gonna dominated get the Clippers. He going to get his. He buddy. dominated the Clippers. Yeah. He, he dominated. He played good. Yeah, he, he I, played saw good. Him, I saw him on the interview. They talking about something. They asked him about um, Blake Griff being hurt. He said, man, it's the playoffs. Everybody hurt. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is so true. It's in any sport. Come playoffs, everybody hurt. Right. Yeah. You know, come on. We done had a long season. Right. Everybody hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you see the Bulls. They down to the 15th man. Yeah. They still, they still closed it out. I don't know, man. I believe that's going to be a good season. Where you see that going? I don't see it going seven. No. Maybe six, five, six. Chicago might get one. <coughs> they so injured. I'm, I'm going to have to give them at least one. At least one? Yeah, because they, cause Miami, they, they've been resting. And, and LeBron playing good. I mean, they my bulls and all, but they ain't ready this year. They got a good team though. They won that playoff series. That's gonna be. That's gonna go a long way for this franchise. Next year they're gonna be a team to be. Used. Let me tell you where I'm gonna be at today at the suburb, suburbia show, suburbia collection show place at Nova at the Women's Expo, International Women Expo. I'm gonna be up out there as soon as I get off air. I'm headed out that way with a road free agent. Nah, <laughs> you got something to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> What's um, up? Feel helping the Lakers. I mean, not the Lakers, but the Pistons. What you think about that? Good for the Pistons. They need some help. You know who I think he's gonna tell them to hire? Who? Oh, Ryan Shaw. No, he he done not came out admitting mm -hmm. Ryan Shaw is a genius. If he if he if he don't understand why he ain't coaching now. He said he don't. He said I just don't get that why he ain't coaching now. Well, if Phil got to get in that office first, that's what is that's what's gonna happen. I believe Ryan Shaw. You heard it here first. Is going to be the Mets Pistons coach, Brian Shaw. You heard it here first. Not that I'm a Pistons fan, but I'm telling you, if they tap Phil, I know who Phil's tapping. Because that's his boy, and he said he's a genius. He thought he meant he's smarter than him. He said he's a, in basketball, he said this guy's a genius. I mean, I believe it. You but know? I, we got to see it. You, but you got Lindsey Hunt <laughs> coaching. I ain't just. But, uh, <laughs> what's wrong with Lindsey Hunter, man? 12 and 29, that's what's wrong with him. <laughs> what Brian Shaw done? He ain't had no opportunity. Right, ain't nobody had no opportunity. Zero for zero. He ain't had no. But how many teams did he help win a championship with? Phil? I don't know. Many. How we know? Many. How many Check he been the stats. On? We got to. Check him, baby. He done to. been there. He done been there, I think, ever since he went to L.A. How many went in L.A.? I mean, how many rings he went in L.A.? Oh, Phil? Yeah. What, five? Yeah, hello, Brian got five, dog. Oh, come on, now. Brian got he five. He might have got maybe two. No, no, He no. was on the bench for one of them. I seen him. No, I'm I talking about as an assistant coach. That's I'm talking, talking about as a player. Mm -hmm. He was on the bench for one of them. <laughs> <laughs> man, if y'all can see what goes on here. <laughs> We're going to take another commercial break, man. We was running a little behind with that static interview we had going on. But I, like I said, I appreciate the guy calling in, oh, hanging yeah. in there. He said it was a good interview. I felt it was okay because of the static. It could have been better without the static. But anyway, let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. 
WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. It's new, it's fresh, it's backed by integrity, and it's ready for you. What is it? It's a new line of apparel called In His Image, abbreviated NHI. Inspired by gratefulness, the NHI company brand has a simple mission. Create great apparel, give back to the community, and honor Christ. If you can appreciate being in the world, but not of the world, check out the fresh designs and growing product line today at NHIbrand.com. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by the book, Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti. It is available in print and e-editions and is illustrated. The gr last great legit commish of baseball and the controversial figure who banned Pete Rose for life. A wonderful read, says Larry King, exquisite and elegant, says Yankee Magazine. For more information, Amazon.com. Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti by authors Anthony Valerio and Robert Brower. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a call on the line. Call a name and where you calling from. Hello? Hello? Call her, name it, where you calling from? Hello? Hello, can you hear you? Can you hear us? Yes, sir. Hang up, call back. This is, uh, anyway. Ah, uh, this is snowball going down here fast. <laughs> Well, Le LeBron won the MVP. What you yeah, think about that? Uh, I can't think about nothing now. Why not? <laughs> think about it. LeBron MVP. Uh, well, what for his fourth one? Yeah. Something many uh, players haven't done when he joined Magic. Will. Yeah, you're right. The great Jordan. ones, Jordan. But he got to bring them titles back with him. He got to make them titles match them MVPs. I mean, hey, he got, but he got them though. I expect him to win about two more. Two, two more rings. What? Two more rings. I don't see it next year. Yeah, I do. With the healthy Chicago, I don't see it next I year. I do. I don't see it. Because I see what teams want to come and, uh, uh, what should I say, players want to come and uh, participate and try to win a oh. ring in the goat coattail. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me see, who's, who's, who ain't got a ring that's getting oh, old? And they they want to get one of the coattail. Oh, Paul Pierce next, huh? Well, he got him a ring. But he won another one, yeah. though. You think he'll go KG? He might go home to L.A. Yo. Uh -huh. He might go home to L.A. You know he's from Compton. So? He might go home to L.A. I don't think he'll, he'll do that to Boston. Why not? Why not? There's no loyalty in sports no more. Oh, Lord. Where's the loyalty at? You think KG going to be there next year? No. He might retire. Only, I think he's going to retire. You, why? He leave millions on the table? Yeah, he's done. He's done. Yeah. Nah, you seem broke. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't broke, man. Let's take this call and see what's happening. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it. Where you calling from? Hey, this is Aaron from Cleveland. Hey, how you doing, Aaron? I'm good, good. Hey, just a quick question for you. How do you access the uh, this show online? Because I can't, I can't pull it up online. What you'll do is go to FM 88.1. WHPR.com. Okay, and I'm on there now, but I'm just getting a, a blank, a, a blank screen with a video to pop up. Did you hit refresh? Hit refresh. Uh, See what happens.
Did that work out? Hello? I think he hung up. Huh? Well, check this out. Um, and um, you can go to DetroitSportsJersey.com. Check out the show with people behind the scene. I don't know, man. What y'all want me to do? <laughs> I'm just a host, man. <laughs> what they want from me? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Oh, man, I'm trying. All right, uh, these standings up here. Yeah, we're we'll talking about a little baseball. Let's talk baseball. a little baseball. Talk, talk about them Tigers. How they just smashing everybody. What we had yesterday? They doing their thing. Eighteen and twelve. Like Eleven. Seventeen runs. Or seventeen and two with the final score. You know y'all don't want three in a row. You see Miggy eight, out there yesterday. Eight and two you in the last Miggy? ten. You see Miggy? Did I tell you, man? I'm busy. I ain't been able to watch nothing. You saw them two what home runs. What part is he? He don't get. You saw them two home runs. I see the highlights. Them, them six RBIs. I can't watch no sports till tomorrow. Man, he was, he was awesome yesterday. Can he watch no sports today? You see the Tigers yesterday. It was awesome, awesome. We're gonna do this all year long. Is this guy deaf? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. I mean, he's sitting right next to me. But I'm telling you, them Tigers, man. Oh man, I'm sitting over here just. They should win it all. They should. They they have no choice. Four hundred million in <laughs> two men locked up, and then the <laughs> other one coming up for his three hundred million. Ah, oh, here you go with that. Yeah, dog. And Prince got two twenty. <laughs> Miggy, okay, okay. Miggy's getting three. Yeah, he might get two fifty. Mm -hmm. Ellis might as well just sign either the Red Wings or Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Just sign them over to me, baby. The one of one of the stadiums. <laughs> I'll make my money at the door. <laughs> come on, man. Prince got two twenty. What you think, Mickey? For real. All jokes aside. For real. Oh, come on, for real. All jokes aside. Two twenty three for Prince Fielder. He might and Miguel, get, he come might get on. some Albert numbers. Come on. He's come like, on. He might. I mean, hey, we gotta see. Might. We got a silver crown winner. He looking He's good. still knocking the ball out of the just to show people it wasn't a fluke. You right. Come on, come on, come on, free agent. Come on. Hey. That's your team. You know he gonna get three hundred. Three, yeah. But okay, what you got him at then? What, what, what's your number? What, what, what's your? You think they gonna pay him? Two twenty four. I'm only gonna give him a million more than Prince. Man, you sounds crazy. <laughs> no, I think they're doing like that. <laughs> Two twenty-three and a half. <laughs> Two twenty-three and one dollar. Come on, man. See, I don't know. Three hundred. I don't think they don't want to put themselves. And oh my God, if he win the World Series, they got four hundred. <laughs> And he's the MVP of the World Series. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's half a billion. <laughs> well, who, who got the uh, money to pay that then? Illich. <laughs> he's, he's, he's pumping out them hot and reddies, baby. <laughs> he's pumping out them hot and <laughs> He's slanging them hot and reddies. Uh, uh, I mean, we got to see him win it first. What a shot. We got to see him win. He got to go win more than one. To be. He got to win more than Keep one. Keep moving. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He moving. He got to win more to the outside way. to the hoop dog. <laughs> yeah, what you got to say over there, voice? You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Now back to host Will and the free agent. <sighs> Live call in number 313 3683688. This is where you call in if you want us to fix your computer over the air. <laughs> oh, we can fix the computers over the air, too? Right, y'all, I can tell you to hit refresh. Oh, refresh. <laughs> if that don't fix it, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, man, Red Wings, my man, come on. They got to pick it up. Well, it's 2-1. We, we they still got to pick it up, baby. If they still another one here. Mm. Oh, yeah, we in trouble. Come on this. now. They got to pick it up. Go Red go Wings, home. baby. It ain't over. But I'm going to tell you something, dog. It's hockey. BS aside, no matter if they win or lose, like I said, 22 years of making the playoffs, 
That's impressive. And four yeah. Stanley Cups in them 22 years. That's impressive. Man, come on. That's an organization. For real. Ain't no organization that made the playoffs. Not even the 49ers. Nobody. Them. Not even the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> now, what the Lions have done is miss the playoffs 22 oh, years in a row. <laughs> Now, y'all have done that. <laughs> yeah, losers well, anyway. <laughs> some have a lot of other teams. But I'm saying that ain't been done in basketball, football. Baseball, yeah. Well, who, who won? The Yankees. The Yankees ain't did that. 22 playoffs in a row. In, in a, a yeah. row. They haven't? They might have. I don't know. I got to check. You got to, that's the good routine. You got to yeah, track him down. Yeah. They might. But still, man, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. You know, Let for real. I mean, win or lose, they go home. That's still impressive. They do 22-something playoffs, playoffs in a year, in a row. They going for 23 And then win 44 championships in them 22 just to show people that wasn't no fluke. Wasn't no fluke. That we get there every year. But they do got to win a couple of more here recently, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they've they been, they been, well, oh, nah. You know, we went the following it's year. Been a while, but, but it's been a while. Right, huh? But we won't. We, 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 can't we, say we no losers it accepted in this organization. You're right, none. But you can't say we ain't you won. Know, we that's, ain't why we, that's why we. That's why Ellis spend the money. Right. He spends money. Don't knock Ellis. Don't nobody talk about Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, let's take a commercial break here, free agent. It's gonna be our last commercial break. You know, as y'all know, we got a couple of new sponsors for the day. And uh, oh, yeah. like I said, I'm going to be at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Nova. You know, as soon as I get off the air, it's the International Women's Expo. We're in booth 424. 425, 425, I'm sorry, 425. Are you taking somebody else's booth too? You know, nah. You now know, don't shock me. Out there, you know, trying to promote the show. Okay, okay. You know, got to do it all by myself because he Stat ain't going to be there. Stat Boy going to be there? He got, yeah. See Stat Boy he there? He got something to do. Stat Boy there? <laughs> the yeah, famous, he been there all the weekend. Stat Boy. He been out there all weekend holding it down. Ladies been loving him. Uh -oh, Taking Stat pictures Boy. with Miss Michigan. Don't say that. <laughs> Who going to listen? Did you, you think you show the picture? See, that's why you got the free agent scared to get married. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take on <laughs> See, that's why I'm afraid. He try, he try, but every week you just blow it for. <laughs> I will be back after work. Oh, after work from my sponsor. <laughs> With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worrying about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800 28 5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800 285 5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. It's new, it's fresh, it's backed by integrity, and it's ready for you. What is it? It's a new line of apparel called In His Image, abbreviated NHI. Inspired by gratefulness, the NHI company brand has a simple mission. Create great apparel, give back to the community, and honor Christ. If you can appreciate being in the world, but not of the world, check out the fresh designs and growing product line today at NHIbrand.com. FM80. Transports Jersey is sponsored by the book, Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti. It is available in print and e-editions and is illustrated. The last great legit commish of baseball and the controversial figure who banned Pete Rose for life. A wonderful read, says Larry King. Exquisite and elegant, says Yankee Magazine. For more information, Amazon.com. Bart, A Life of A. Bartlett Giamatti by authors Anthony Valerio and Robert Brower. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call-in number 
live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. The email address is info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, co-host, the water cooler guru, and the free agent. All right, thank you very much. Once again, this Detroit Sports Jersey, uh, like I said, if you're having problems out there, live streaming us, we upload the shows every Sunday. At least they'll be up by 1 or 2, about 2 o'clock. They usually up no later than 3 in the afternoon. DetroitSportsJersey.com. I'm your host, Will. Got the free agent sitting up here, Mr. Reliable. Oh, yeah. Got a very important question about your Detroit Lions. I'm not going to beat him. I just, just a simple question. Okay. Let me, let me hear it. As you know, last week, the big news in the NFL, the Jets let Tebow go. Oh. Do you want him oh. as a Detroit Lion? Yeah. Why not? Hey, not shocked by that answer. I mean, you, we can use Tebow to do what? Where are you gonna put him at? Fullback. Mm. He can run somebody else. Somebody let you know ain't no more fullbacks in the NFL. Tim Tebow. <laughs> and no then he, and then we can do the option with him. Mm. Oh, we might go deep to Calvin off Tebow. And the oh option left. I can oh. <laughs> I could do man, it. What are you doing over I'm there? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Tebow, I see it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I see no, it, no, too. No Tebow. You don't want him? No, no Tebow. I'm sorry. No Tebow. For real? Yeah, yep. for real. No Tebow. Why not? We got staff. We you got know, now they said a lot of teams uh, been talking to his agent, but they want to convert him to like a tight end. But he don't want to do it. He still think he's a quarterback. Well, he, he, if he, he came in as a quarterback, he got drafted as a quarterback, so why not? I think he can do it. You think he'll go to Jacksonville, home, go back home to Florida? That's if they want him. Him and Denard down there. <laughs> uh, well, both you see Denard changing positions. Actually, you know what? They said in their little rookie mini camp mm -hmm. that he done out the Jack. I read it in the paper that Jacksonville said so he done outside all of them down there. Well, once he get the ball in his hand, yeah, he can do yeah, something. That's what I'm saying. Y'all made I a can't. mistake. Y'all made a mistake. Y'all should have got him. Who is y'all? Why y'all didn't get him? Oh, that's right. Y'all going to use Wait, Reggie. Why, did, why didn't you get him? Y'all going to use Reggie. Why didn't you get him? You suckers. <laughs> <laughs> why, why your team didn't we get him? We sat. Oh, y'all sat. We sat. We're, we're more of a defensive team than offensive. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's why we went straight for defense in the draft. That don't win, that's not going to win y'all the Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't know. How come it's not? It, it defense do win championships, yeah, my and man. Yeah, it didn't show up in the Super Bowl. Nah, defense do win <laughs> right. championship. Yeah, you right. You your know, defense, defense got up. us the defense. But it didn't show up. i tell you one thing. Defense didn't get us 4-12. Case closed. Move it on. <laughs> <laughs> Move it on. Did y'all win? Move it what on. Did win? I'm not going to dance with this. What this did y'all win? I'm, that's I'm all not I want dance. I'm not going to dance to the same song with you every week. But you didn't win nothing. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not going to dance to this same song. The only thing that made it worse is y'all got the confetti come down, you know? But y'all was watching. Mm -hmm. So that, that's I what know. made it worse. I know why the Lions was, oops, I mean, it was yeah. Ravens taking the trophy off the field. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not going to dance with you with that song again this week. I'm just saying. Uh, you don't have to say that. Y'all saw that's, the confetti. That's uh, closer than y'all did. <laughs> But y'all got the worst feeling. You know, you were what? Y'all got the worst feeling. Okay. No, no, no. That that this just us kept the build on. The build on. Yeah, because we're closer to winning it than you are. You went four and twelve. You going five and eleven. This year. I'm not even changing my. You going five and eleven. Five and five and eleven. You're right. Now. I'm not changing We're nothing. We're going 13 and 3. Go up here and get a guy from BYU. Ain't nobody ever heard 13 of. 13 and 3. Played only two years. That you think he the best. He's going to have 35 like, sacks. Yeah, I know he Watch. will. Yeah, okay. First three games. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just like fairly was. Ooh, that was a good it was. one. It was. That was a good pick. It was a good pick. Fairly riding down I-75 with a blunt in his hand yeah. and a 40 between his legs. What y'all? <laughs> <laughs> you just mad y'all didn't get him. Don't need him. Don't need him. Y'all lost. But don't matter. We That's got there. Now y'all are losers. There's a difference. How is it a difference? That's all y'all. When was do. the last time y'all won? 
Here we go. See, that's the I'm same just routine. The the same Abbott and Costello yeah, routine. Just tell me Who's when. on first? Well, the I same Abbott and Costello. When was the last time? Can you yeah. can you remind me? Who's on first? Huh? What's on second? Where is on third? You got my money playing outfield. <laughs> Come on, we can play this game all day long. It don't matter. My organization has five rings and championship trophies to your zero. So there's no conversation on no You're more. Right. That's really that. for real. That's no that conversation shouldn't even be brought up. Matter of fact, you should be hung. If you was back in my old country, you would be hung. <laughs> <laughs> your old country? What country you in now? You, you, <laughs> I would take you outside right oh, now, man. and you would be hung in the public oh, setting man. downtown in the square. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you lucky you ain't Yo, back in my country. country. Uh, Y'all hear this? It's old country. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> oh, man. oh, man, I'm having a good day, man. I'm about to go out here and have me a good time. Next week is Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. Next Sunday, should I say. Cinco de Mayo is today. What you doing for today for Cinco de Mayo? You going down there, Southwest Detroit, you know, do your thing, hang out? No. Scared to go over there? No, I'm not scared. Yeah, they're friendly. They cool they're friendly. Yeah, they cool. Not no problem over there. You might have problems, but I won't. If I didn't have to do this event today, I will go over there. I'll yeah, take my right. baby out to a restaurant over there, you know, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, for real. Okay. But I'm cooking today, you know, you cooking, cooking some bird, yeah. You cooking? Cooking some bird. Got it baking in the oven as we speak. Granted, the apartment building might be on fire now, but... <laughs> <laughs> but at least the chicken done. Wow. <laughs> but no, I'm, you know, doing some things today, man. You know, going out here. Stat boy got to go out here. We're going to be out here passing out well card health. Okay. So people can save money with prescriptions. Okay, stat boy. Uh, they got pets, medication for your pets, Okay. vision, medical, it's not an insurance card, it's a discount medical card, wellcardhealth.com, save you a buck or two, you know what I'm saying, saving is saving. Right, right. But anyway, enough of that, let's get back to the sports, you know. Let's get your final thoughts, man. Give me uh, your final picks for the. Uh, give me, give me your NFL pick. We gonna, I mean, not the NFL, but the NBA finals. Who you got? Who got? For real. In the finals. For real. I know you. Get, this year. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Let me ask you something. It's Spurs. Tony Parker. No, he playing. Uh, I was telling you, you need to call you about the Spurs. I said you know. Spurs what? and Heat. Everybody healthy on the Spurs. Yeah, man. Pretty and much. Why didn't you get rid of Steven Johnson? Well, he ain't, they ain't get rid of him. What they do with him? You know, he hurt. He the one hurt. <laughs> To you because they let him go. When they brought in Tracy McGrady, they let oh, he's him go. Still there. He just they ain't let him go. Hold on, let me pull just, up. Just, you ain't gotta pull up nothing. I'm pulling it up anyway. Uh, <laughs> he hurt though. Hey man, Boris. Is um, is um, Boris McGrady playing? Nah, he ain't playing. I don't even know why they signed him. He said him in his suit. Yeah. For now. <laughs> for real? Now. Yeah, for real. He didn't get no suit. uniform on? He had well one game he did. But he didn't play. <laughs> Okay, let me see. You say, uh, I think they got rid of him, my man, for real. They ain't get rid of him. Steven Jackson ain't going nowhere. All right, give me your last words, man. Spurs we about to get up out of here. Man. Spurs and Heat. And yeah. we winning it all. Well, I see. We got to get there. But I see <coughs> the Spurs in, in, in seven. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with you on that. But I'm going to have to say that uh, Miami's going to, uh, Pretty much win it all again. Oh. They already set up for it. There's no pressure on them. OKC, unfortunately, you know, I'm gonna have to bash shit. My it's, man it's Westbrook, no, no Westbrook is out. They need Westbrook. Westbrook, yeah, he's out. He's too, he too valuable for peace. Yeah, yes, now he people is. are finally seeing exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, he too valuable. Exactly. Um, my man Tarantula, you can't get it done by yourself. You really don't have those really. You got a semi-support cast, but it's just not enough to get it done. You know what I'm saying? He said a semi it's just not enough to get it done. No, you know, it's just, you know, no, I'm not knocking other players. It's just not. Come on, San Antonio, man. Tim Duncan playing like he's 22. <laughs> <laughs> he up going for alley-oop. You see that alley-oop he did, huh, yeah. man? 
<laughs> you know that dude alley who looks like he's 19. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One handed. Uh, he like, what is Tim up. doing? What is Tim? <laughs> And he destroyed the Lakers. I, I, I didn't even, I didn't believe he still had Once it in him again, like that. don't break the Lakers. Well, I and he had Howard. it. I didn't even know he had it in him like that. He made that. Dwight Howard just look like a, <laughs> just, and you want a hundred and seventeen million <laughs> from that organization? You should be paying them <laughs> to please stay out of my building. Well, we're going to see what they do next year. We're going to see what he going to do next year. Anyway, I'm going to apologize for all the technical difficulties we had today. Oh, and uh, like I said, next week I want that author to call back in. He wrote the book about Bart Giamatti, the great commissioner, the seventh com baseball commissioner that they had in a major league baseball. Uh, the guy that uh, couldn't find us online, hopefully you know You'll watch the show, DetroitSportsJersey.com. You know, check out me and the free agent doing our thing. Hopefully next week, Mother's Day, we have all this wrapped up. Everybody be, uh, you know, safe out there. Happy Seco de Mayo. You know, don't drink and drive. And free agent, last word before we get out of here. Go Detroit. <laughs> Go where? Anyway. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. We out of here. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time. Sundays at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 WHPR. Power Talk Live Radio. With host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 881WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great week. FM 88.